You guys, I have an outdoor encasing that I'm gonna show you guys. It's not really a step-by-step. -step. It's kind of just gonna walk you through it. But this is for a rack miner, and this is also for a bobcat miner and other miners that co that connect to the helium network, okay? So let's go ahead and start off with the box. If you guys wanna come take a look over here, this is the back side of it, okay? We have a post. All we did is screw on to this, to this post here. And I have a, I actually have, the other piece right here there's two pieces just in case you're going to put it on a pole you could kind of connect both to the pole and then this is where you're going to have it connected to the back base of here just like i have it connected there so i, I would essentially just put this on the other side of the pole so it kind of look like that and we'd have it around the pole okay so let me show you guys what we got here we do have this there's a plate that comes separate all we have to do is we have three screws one here one all the way at the bottom here, and then one bottom left. Three screws connects that, uh, this plate onto the back of the base, and then you're gonna have to unscrew the miner on these four screws right here, and then we're just gonna have to uh, unscrew it into the back. So we're actually using the rack screws on the back side of this, okay? And then we have this cord came with the case. Of course, I'm gonna, I'm gonna link this case at the bottom, guys, if you guys are interested in getting this case. So we have a screw that comes, it's, it's actually a, I'm not sure what the length of this is, but this is a LMR 600. So this is a very thick cable that connects directly on here. We did have to screw these top pieces in here, and then this one we screwed this cord in right here. So this connects directly to the rack miner right here. And then we are using power of ether Internet, you guys right here and I do like it it's kind of a newer technology so we wanted to try it out and it's working perfectly fine so what it is is it came with this little box right here and this Ethernet cord goes all the way runs all the way down it goes all the way down here and then this one I'm gonna show you guys in a second but this one runs all the way inside the house and we've got a pretty long cable this is a, a cat 6 Ethernet cord and it's good for outdoors and indoors that's why we got this one of course I'll link that too all right you guys so this little box right here it has two different splitters. One splits in to the power, which is right here. So all we did is, is plug it into the, to the side of the rack. So now that has power. And then the other side is actually the ethernet. Let me show you guys under. So the ethernet cord goes directly into the miner. So it does have ethernet and you guys could use Wi-Fi, but I prefer ethernet because it's a lot faster and more reliable. Okay, I'll show you guys what it looks like once we put the case on top of here. As we are working with the 8 DVI antenna that we have right here. And I have multiple videos on how I hooked all this stuff up. So just go ahead and check those out. I'll probably link them below. But uh, I guess one of the differences, we have a 10 gauge instead of a 12 gauge grounding wire right here. And then we did everything else pretty much the same. We have our lightning arrestor here that we hooked up the grounding wire to. We do have a LMR 600. If you guys watched my last video, I did have an extra LMR 600 because we took it down from my other setup and we're gonna be setting it up here. And then um, this is all the same and you can actually buy this separately. Our antenna for some reason didn't come with it. So we, we had to buy this mount separately and I'll link that below in case you guys need it. And then this is a sturdy 20 foot flagpole that we got going on here. So we have the LMR 600, we have the grounding cord, and then of course we have everything attached with zip ties. So I'll show you guys the rest of it in a second. And we do have that LMR 600 running all the way down. We did kind of like a little drip loop just in case it rains. The rain's gonna come down here and then it's gonna fall down here. Okay, so let me show you guys what we got going on. We did buy a 20 foot flagpole from Amazon. And as you guys can see, we're going all the way up to the top. So that like barely clears the top of the house. And that was our goal. We wanted to clear the house. That way we get more HNT earnings, you guys. So the cord is 25 feet long, the LMR 600. So we could have gotten a little bit shorter, but that's okay. We're kind of reusing the cord. So we didn't really know how, how long we were supposed to have it. But the pole is 20 feet long. So let me show you guys uh, the rest of the stuff that we got going on. Now I'm gonna show you guys the grounding cord, okay? So it's kind of hard to tell, but it is a white cord right there and it goes all the way down. What we did is we attached it to this tree, coming all the way down the palm tree and then all the way down here. And you guys, look at this rod right here. We have a six foot copper rod. It's going all the way straight into the ground right here. You guys, I do have a four foot rod connected to my Amazon storefront. And if you guys use that one, 
it's very hard. If the dirt is hard, it's gonna be hard to pound all the way in there. And we tried to do it right here, but it was way too hard. So we actually had to have a guy come out and put this rod in here. And then this piece also on Amazon that we purchased. So we throw this on top of the copper, and then this is actually 10, uh, 10 gauge versus the 12 gauge. I usually use 12 gauge, but I found out that 10 gauge is a little bit bigger and it's a little bit more reliable and it fits perfectly on the lightning arrestor. So if you guys go with this grounding, definitely go with a 10 gauge and all you have to do is slide it in here and then we just screwed it in. So this is, this is on here, it's nice and tight. It's not gonna go anywhere. So that's how the grounding goes. Of course, check with your electrician uh, check with uh, your state laws, your local laws to see how the grounding works out for you guys, okay? So this is what it looks like on the inside, you guys. So this came with the package. So it came with everything included. This is the power of Ethernet, okay? And this is the box. So this box plugs in, as you guys can see right here, and then it actually goes into the 210 standard US plug, okay? And then on the other side, we do have two ports. Let me see if I can show them to you. There we go. Okay, so the PoE, this is the white cord, and that's the one that runs all the way outside. The LAN actually gets connected directly into your router or your modem, whatever you have. And I'm going to show you guys what the homie Patrick has going on. So this cord goes all the way in to a splitter, and I have the same splitter. I definitely recommend it. It's the TP-Link, you guys. It has eight total connections all you have to do is connect one in like he has his uh his router right here so it's connected right in here and then you get to use all these seven ports that are right here so he does have a couple other miners that he has going on he is working on his channel so of course we're going to give him a shout out in the description box and uh this is one of the his miners that he has going on this is the deeper network and then if we come over here this is the Planet Watch. This is the Aware. This is like their tier four. I have one, so I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and showing how to set up and all that good stuff. But just kind of like sh shouting out Pat, and he has a lot of stuff going on right here. But uh, other than that, you guys, it's very simple. All you have to do is plug the, the LAN side in your router or your modem or whatever kind of setup you guys have. I have a two-on-one router modem, so I'll just connect it directly to that. Or I could uh, connect it directly to the switch, depending on where I wanna place mine. You guys, this is what the outer case looks like when we put it on there. So we do have the case on here. Everything is nice and waterproof. I did uh, slap a little bit of that silicone tape that I have on the very, very top, just in case no water gets in here. But you guys, it's everything looks uh, water sealed. It looks good to go. Let me show you guys the bottom real quick. So this is the ethernet core that we got going on and it goes all the way in right here. And then uh, we this came, this actually came with it. All we did is like top it over. And you guys, it does come with like extra ports that you really don't need but I'm sure people could uh, figure out like what to use them for. Or maybe in the future, people might need them. So that is cool that it does come with extra ports. And that's pretty much the video we have for you guys today. You guys, I'm not a professional. I'm just a little bit of a handyman. I just want to show you guys what I do. That way, you know, if you guys want to copy, that's on you guys. And uh, I will check you guys out in the next video.